What? No diamonds! How? How can I? What? How? What? How can I? I have no diamonds. So, really? Oh no! Maybe like, well, why aren't you filling the back? Because I don't have the sandstone to put underneath it. Oh, I just want two diamonds. Why can't I just have two diamonds? Oh, and my bags are full. Done down here. I didn't quite get what I was hoping for. I was looking for diamonds. But unfortunately, I did not find any diamonds. Okay. So. Now that I have gotten my inventory emptied, I am going to show you how this thing works. See, I have a couple of melons. So I just stand here and wait for them to come to me. See how easy that is? And then, boink. And then more will grow. It's perfect. So now I'm going to take this opportunity to head on up to the surface and go hunt some sand and sandstone. What? Why is there a minecart all here? Whoa. Meh. Okay, come on back down here. Do you know what you want to? Uh, Alright, come on. Down you go. Uh, somebody's messing up my minecart system thing here. Anyway, let's put that cart back where it goes. So, oh look, we actually have snow and ice over there now. That's right. Alright. It ooh, and there goes the rain. So I'm going to head on over to my friendly nearby Oops. Um uh, Desert. Yeah. I'm gonna go through the snowy biome to the desert. No, no, really, I am. So I th think this is the way to the... De nope. Desert's the other way. Wait. That's right. It's been so long since I played on this server, I totally forgot where the desert is. Man, I think this whole area used to have trees. Anyway, this isn't about that. This is about going to the... Does man, these Endermen really have done a number over here, haven't they? I could have swore I left a trail of... Uh, I'm confused. There used to be a trail of torches that led to the desert over this way. You know what? I have a map. Now that I remember, I have a map. Yeah, desert's this way. Okay, I'm just kind of going off in the wrong direction a little bit. I don't understand. Ah, oh, there's a torch. I thought I had, like, cleared a path in the trees. Oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> there's the little bridge I built to make the river crossing easier. Pretty cool, huh? And here is the desert I was looking for. Oh snap. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. That's how you do it. Alright, nice. But I'm still going to have to go down another level, aren't I?
that is how you collect large amounts of materials like that in a quick time. That's more than enough sandstone now. So, back home I go. Well, now all I'm missing is my enchanting table. It's so mean. So so utterly wrong. Okay, now the lag should be done, hopefully. Seems a little bit better. Okay, where was I? Oh, crap, where'd you come from? No! No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How the hell did he spawn? Damn it! Uh, I guess it is too dark down here. How did that happen? It shouldn't be too dark, but okay. Well, that explains that. And let's see, we've got lava here, right? Golly. Yoink. So this is a no-go, right? Yep. Diamonds! Woohoo! Gotta do my usual diamond. Ooh! Glad I did my usual diamond trick. Ah! Good thing I have another pickaxe. Yoink, yoink. So, anyway, when I dig out diamonds, I start by digging all around them. Just to make sure that, first off, they're gonna be safe to pluck. And second off, so that I know whether or not there are more. Woohoo! Diamonds! Nice. Woohoo! Diamonds! I found me more diamonds, more diamonds, more diamonds surrounded by lava! Grr, this is gonna be fun. Problem is, the diamonds are surrounded by fracking lava. Actually, it might not work out too bad. Let's see. It's just there's like obsidian right over there. Oh. Okay, that'll actually be a good thing. That means those two are obsidian, which makes this a safe diamond of mine. Alright. Um, actually, yes. And then that means this one is uh, surrounded by obsidian as well, so that makes that one safe to mine, but that one will also be safe to mine. Sweet! Perfect! Oh, maybe it wasn't safe to mine. Crap! Crap! Oh, crap! Crap! <laughs> oh, crap! No! <laughs> what have I done to myself? Okay. <laughs> totally messed that one up. Oh, no! Get there. Okay, so I need to get another... Fill my bucket of water. I think... Crap. Man, there are zombies all over me because I'm, like, right underneath a cave system. And now that I have my diamonds, it is time to create my enchanting table! Let's see, book, book, no book? I thought I had a book. Oh, the book, the book, the book is over here. Hello, book. I just need one. Here we go. And obsidians, diamonds, and book. Voila! Enchanting table for the win! And now to place it. Bye-bye! Hello! Woot! Excellent. And now that I have my little enchanting room, I'm I'm gonna s yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just enchant an iron pickaxe with that. Why not? What is it? Unbreaking two. Yeah, not great, not bad. Now that I've got my enchanting table and I've got my melon farm fixed and everything, I'm gonna have to build a better XP farm than this little thing here. So my next step is to head on out and create one out of that 
zombie spawner that I found when I was looking for my melon seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'll show you what I got when I got it. Alright, so I did a little bit more off camera than I anticipated. I, you can see I've extended my storage room a little bit because I was running out of space for stuff. Um, but that is not the impressive part. This is the impressive part. I ran a whole new minecart track from here, which is switchable. That goes out to the zombie spawner that I found previously when I was hunting for melon seeds. As you can see, it's a little bit of a trip. Um, but once we get there, I'll show you how it works. So the way it works is the zombies fall down in there into the water that pushes them this way. And then they're pushed along this way into this tower that goes up into the rock there uh, with alternating water sign water currents and then they're up all the way over there and they're pushed this way with another water current and then dropped down here which is accessible from here now unfortunately because this is SMP we have them bouncing around doing weird stuff here um, so it's not gonna be the same as if it were just a single world you'll notice that it takes more than one hit to do it. If I drop this block down even by a half block here, they'll just die instantly upon landing. Uh, where if I put it up to this block, even then sometimes they do die, but for the most part they take like two to three hits to go down. Once I get my brewing system set up, I'll be able to make those potions and stuff though, but first I have to go to the nether. So that is going to be my next step in the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this, and if you have any questions, please do comment. Uh, I would also appreciate it if you would rate and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. And I will see you next time. And remember, let's play Minecraft.